Hey, I'm KIC, and we seem to be spending a lot of time in this house. If I'm not mistaken, I'm willing to bet you that this is where I go for bricks. <sighs> of course it is. That makes perfect sense, because you got to bake your brick. Uh, sometimes realism and all that stuff. Anyway, um, this thing had previously been working on cranking out some forged iron, which I have since taken and turned into... A cement mixer. Now, I've already placed the cement mixer, and I'll go show you what we can do with that in this mod in just a moment. But I was finding myself going, wait a minute. What in the world am I supposed to do to get bricks? Then it hit me. Duh. Probably use the forge. Use the forge, Luke. Use the forge. You remember that scene, right? We need to go grab a few more stones here. Just uh, a couple. Like, I don't know, a good... 16 or 1700 of them. It won't take that long. You're fine with that, right? Holy crap, why can't I find a single... Well, you know, whatever. Fine. You count as both stones and gravels. Clays. Oh, but man, this is brutal. You're not... You're not giving up much. You're... You're a stickler. I don't like you. It's not nice. Give me more stones. Thank you. Here, we'll do a couple of these guys. We'll just even, I don't know, maybe even just one stage is enough. Let's see what we have here. Your skill and access is now 22. I have a feeling we're going to need more than this. I think we're going to end up getting something like 5 to 10 bricks per shot out of this. I'm not 100% sure. It's funny, I was looking at the cement mixer and going, oh, okay, I bet you can get... Um, 50 cobblestone bricks or 50 cobblestone rocks at a time out of it if you do something with that in particular. So that's kind of where I think this is going to come from. But we need some stones to play with so we can experiment and find out exactly how it works. Scopes, actually, you know what? Here, hold on. While we're doing this, uh, where are you? You're on this side. I want to grab a few of these because we're going to have some free time here where, you know... Whatever, if we had some empty jars or something, then we can just make some aloe cream. There we go, there's an empty jar, and there's the second one. So here, let, let's aloe this up. What did I do? There we go. My goodness. Do you ever have one of those days where you just don't know what you're doing? Yeah. Ah, uh, you know what, here. We don't need jars for that, do we? I'm thinking of something else, whatever. Get working on the aloe cream, if you don't mind. He didn't mind. All right. I want to put a few more stones in here, but I'm going to hold some back on reserve. Uh, let's favorite you so that I can do this slightly less obnoxiously. So we'll give you that. We have just a little bit of clay we can throw in there. So we'll do that. We'll add just a little more clay. There you go. Keep you busy. And then let's go ahead and make a brick. So you can see it's going to take 28 seconds for using 10 stone, 60 clay. I'm going to guess... And I could be wrong here, but I'm going to guess we get 10 bricks out of this. I, oh man, I sure hope we do. I am not even joking about that. I am really hoping we do. We got four aloe creams. Let's make some first aid bandages, people. We need more of them. What you doing, kitty? You feeling okay? Look at that. We got a couple more whetstones. That also is exciting because then theoretically we could repair our legendary machete. I just, I don't want to do that right at the moment really like to put more points in the fixer. Are you kidding me? That offered one brick. I thought for sure we would get more than that out of it. One brick. I, I feel ripped off. Like, why would I even want to do this? I know, it's hardness is probably going to be better than upgraded flagstone. I get that. I get that. But, I mean... That can be upgraded to 1500 without any trouble at all. So if this thing starts at 1350... I uh, hear, we'll just... Pop it down right here. I don't know. It makes no sense. I just... I want to play with this thing. So 1350. So we can go ahead and repair it. And then... It just goes to concrete. Is 
So you're using 60 clay. I got, I got to look at this. Because I'm just, I'm blown away by this. The math makes zero sense to me. Bricks. 10 stones, 60 clay, and it gets you 1350. Now, work with me here on this. So cobblestone. Recipe for cobblestone, in case you have forgotten, is one to one. One clay, one stone, gets you one cobblestone. So, if you wanted to make a flagstone block, it's going to be four cobblestone. So four and four, you're following, right? If you upgrade this with 10 cobblestone, which is now 14 and 14, that's going to get you a 1500 block. 1500 damage. Now again, hardness might be different. All of those things absolutely could be. Bricks might be stronger. They essentially reduce the damage that they receive. I don't know, though. That's a lot of clay. 60 clay versus 14 clay. Granted, 10 stones versus 14. I'm not feeling that. I would rather stick with cobblestone. So here's what I was looking at with this guy. Just for giggles, I'm going to go ahead and mix one load of cobblestone because theoretically, this should indeed produce 50 cobblestones, which we could use a few more of them. I mean, flat out. We're going to need more. Uh, 210 is not going to be enough. Hello? Nobody's home. Are you from Amway? Oh, hello. Oh, you know what? We're going to do this. I am I'm ready for this crap. Bring it on. Bring it on, guys. Bring it on. Nope, you're not going to hit me. Nope, you're not going to hit me. Although I should probably make sure there's no one back here that's going to hit me. You, you, you keep ducking your head. You're making it kind of difficult to hit you. A little concerned that this machete is not just outright killing everyone. I mean, I realize these guys, the trucker dudes, are pretty beefy, so don't get me wrong. Not necessarily them, but like these guys, you should all be losing your heads instantly. Why does everyone look at the ground when they walk? Hold on, I'm going to do like these zombies do. I'll start walking around like this. I realize that's close to how I usually walk around. Uh, pay no attention to me. Pay no attention to me. It is day 13. I had said maybe yesterday-ish. I don't remember that. We might want to go visit the trader. Ma'am. Ooh, oh, thank you. I'll take that, trucker. Nurse you back to health. Kill some nurse zombies. Great. That quest is now complete. It's going to give us a skill point or thereabouts. Ma'am. Sir, ma'am, etc. I'm just bouncing back and forth between my sirs and my ma'ams. Sir, ma'am. Oh, there's a ravager over there. Did you see that? Sort of coming this way. Kind of, sort of. Not exactly. Maybe. We'll see if they make their way over here. How you doing, Ravi? Getting ready to go into high speed. There you go. Now in high speed. How you doing? And you're done. Ish. There you go. Good times, good times. We have run out of room for things. Uh, drop the bowl. We, no one no one cares about the bowl. We gotta go drop this stuff off, and then we're gonna go ahead to the trader. I might even just look for concrete. I mean, I kind of feel like that's the better way to go. Just buy a bunch of concrete mix and make your own crap and not even worry about it. This is kind of silly talk over here. Not pleased with our options. I mean, I get it. It's not, uh, I, and I should clarify, that's not a complaint on the mod. I'm just, I'm kind of looking at it, I'm like, eh, I don't even know that I really want to deal with all these old, crappy, I don't know, materials and stuff. That, I mean, that just, that, that just is what it is, you know? All right, 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 good, 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 good. Let's drop off some parts and stuff so we can drop, uh, actually, you know what? We will take all of the old caches. We'll leave those behind. Those should probably go elsewhere, but we're going to drop all this stuff off for now. Lead doesn't go there. Cobblestones. Oh my gosh. So many things going in here. Drop off the metals and the pipes. Drop the stones and the grasses. Forgot to grab the forged iron while we were over at the forged iron thingy-majigger. The forge. You know. Whatever you call that thing. The forge. 
kind of tempted to take some of these guys, but I really do. Did we ever get around to making that combine bench? The combine bench? I don't think we did. Uh, what do we need for that? We need... Combine station was like... Uh, I don't even remember what we needed to be able to make that thing at this point. I was just checking to see if we've done that. Apparently we haven't. That's fine. So we're going to drop off, let's see, some ammunition. Keep the shotgun shells. We'll take the pants, all this stuff. That death, that leather duster there, we don't want to sell that one. Hunting rifles, we'll put you away. Not really ready to do anything with rifles just yet. That's going to be a while. I still feel kind of dumb about getting excited about the pistol book, only to realize after the fact that, no, no. Don't get excited about this one. It's just some plus to the skill. Oh, well. It was what it was. And we'll eat... Uh, let's eat a honey ham. Should give us a little extra wellness. That's fine. We're going to go ahead and run over to the trader. We do have a few things to sell. We are primarily interested in buying. I think... I hope... Where's this guy at? I don't even remember. Where are you? Trader? Trader, you're southwest. Okay. I was going to say, I don't even remember what day he's supposed to be responding his stuff on, but I tell you, it is a joy to drive a mini bike that goes pretty quickly. I mean, you can, you can decide to do random things like drive along and check a couple of tires or check a tire and be like, eh, whatever. And then keep going. And it's no big deal because it moves quickly enough that you can just zoom, zoom, zoom along. Uh, that's good stuff. And I, I, <laughs> this is going to be one of those weird things that you might not believe me. I mean, you probably, probably will. I enjoy driving in this game. Like, I just kind of enjoy driving around the countryside. Now, sometimes it gets to be a little obnoxious when you're going from, like, one side of your random world gen to the other. And you're doing that repeatedly. But I just, I kind of enjoy driving. I don't know. I like the mini bike. What can I say? It's not that bad. It's pretty fun. I like it more when you can slam into things, you know, zombies, etc., there. We're done looking at the ground. I was just kind of having some fun with you. Little continuity for you. But no, I seriously, I enjoy driving. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's one of those things. Maybe because I enjoy driving in the real world, too. Even though a part of me is welcoming in this well, automated money, driving world that we will smell. eventually have. Let's go ahead and sell all those guys, and we're going to sell you some mini bike parts. We'll sell you some hazmat boots, hazmat boots. We'll sell you some black denim pants. I'm hopeful... That will get us close enough to oh, 20 man. that we don't have to spend too many points. Barter. Oh, look at that. We are up to 20s, which means that we can open up secret stash numero uno. All right, buddy. Oh, oh merchant delivery box. I yes. Ooh, quest board sounds fun. Uh, we'll check this out in a minute. I remember very much enjoying the merchant boxes because you can basically have your own trader. Your own personal trader without having to go anywhere. Oh, it's so nice. It is perhaps one of the absolute best things about Valmod. I mean, it's just... At a point in the game, you decide, yeah, I just, I don't want to deal with this crap, so let me buy it. Yeah. It works great for that. It's amazing. This guy has a good decked out list of stuff he's selling. I'm just, I think we've hit the end though. Old cash mini bike hazmat hazmat pants. Okay. Man, we got nothing for those hazmat boots and he wants 2300. We need more bartering. So I don't see anything good in those. Let's see. Tale of the Tailor. Cloth armor blade weapons. Evil dead shotgun shotgun shotguns. The blacksmith. I might be inclined to take that one. Medicine is always good. Player vending machine. We don't really care because we're doing single player enforcer. Handguns, handguns. Rather just buy the pistol one. That would make more sense. Wow, you have a decent quality chainsaw. I was just hoping maybe we would get lucky and find an auger blade. Not to be. That's okay. I don't think we need to get anything from this guy then. 
I'm going to have to take one more quick look through here. Just to see. Let's see. Let's go to the resources. Yeah, I didn't... I was going to say, I didn't remember seeing any concrete or anything like that. So, I don't really feel like we need to buy anything from this guy. We have decent weapons. We have uh, quite a few guns and that sort of stuff. When I say weapons, I mean hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Handheld, hand-to-hand weapons. We have some good firearms. Um... I'm not feeling this stuff. I'm just not. Just you know what? Yeah, you know, buddy. I I know. I mean, this was not a bad trip. Don't get me wrong. This potentially worked out incredibly well. Barter. If we go back to that. A merchant delivery box and a quest board. So what does it take to make a quest board? Wood. And it takes 33 minutes. To make it. Holy crap. Merchant delivery box? How about you? 33 minutes. Wood and iron. Okay. So if that's the case, you know what the solution to that is, right? Let's hop off the mini bike and chop this dude in the face. Except I missed his face. And now I hit his face. And he no longer has a face. Where is that? That's right here. Okay, good. We'll go grab that. And as we're going to grab that, oh, we're going to end up waiting because we're going to beat that there because it's so close. How you doing? Come on down. Where are you going to land? You're going to land like right in this neighborhood, aren't you? Somewhere right here-ish. Trying to land, trying to stop somewhere where we will not roll everywhere. Okay, so what we need to do then is... Is that a guy down there? Yeah, it's not what I thought it was, but it is, I mean, it's a zombie. It's just not the kind of zombie I thought it was. The bike is freaking me out, man. I don't like that. I think what we do is we do this, kitty. We do this. We buy quicker crafting. Because then if we do that merchant delivery box, it is now down to 29 minutes. That's not bad. And we might even spend a few more points to get it down even lower. Kind of at the point where I don't really want to start it now. There are still other things I would like to do first. Auger parts. I wish you were an auger blade, but those are indeed an improvement over our existing parts. So that is not a bad find, necessarily. That's, that's still pretty good. An auger blade, though, would be amazing. If someone would just like to barf out an auger blade. Probably should have ow. Given that little farmer guy a whirl. Although I think maybe lumberjacks have that in their loot drop. Their loot table. I don't know. I don't remember for certain. It's been a little while now. I feel like an auger would do us really, really well at the moment. Holy crap. That is getting a little too close for comfort. Let's drive around there. That is Landmine Central. My goodness, KIC, what are you doing, man? What are you doing, man? That is not safe. Thou should not, shouldest not, I don't know, do that. Not recommended. All right. Uh, my bad. Excuse me, sir. Just going to drive right by you. Going to even slam into you and you won't know that we're here. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Here, we'll go ahead and unlock the door. A little concerned about the bow. One of these days, we're going to need a better bow, so maybe we should look at that right now. Because this bow is just not going to last. And then let me... Let me turn my LED goggles around so they're not facing the side. That's just one of those weird sillinesses with the mod. A little better in here. It's a little brighter. That's fine. Okay, so... What all did we grab out of that box? Uh, it looks like health and ammo supply boxes and all that sort of jazz. So we've got 18 of those. That's excellent. There are some better Alger pots. And then... I guess we can drop off the water. We have a fair amount of that water, surprisingly enough. Eggs and all that sort of thing. Let's eat another honey ham. It's fine. That works for me. Got some boiled meat. I'd say we could eat that too, but we don't really don't need to do that now. Now do we, Kitty? We don't. Alternate recording cat just walked in. Hi. 
You getting in your bed? Go for it. That's why it's there. It's there for you. She's like, it's not configured the way it's supposed to be configured. Well, move it around, cat. It's yours. Do what you need to. It's totally fine. Probably need to make some more Molotovs and that sort of stuff. We probably need to make more spikes. I'm just trying to look at all this stuff in general. There are a lot of probababa bobblies and all that sort of thing, but generally speaking, I think we're okay right now. Wow, I don't remember grabbing all those kits. Probably forgot to put them away like ages ago, unless... Did seven of them really drop from that supply drop? Because I know one of them came from a nurse. I don't know, maybe. All right, well, whatever, it's fine. We have tools, we have... Oh, there's a pistol grip right here. What is that doing here? Go away, pistol grip. Where are we at with our firearm perks and skill levels anyway? I am truly curious of this. So assault rifles is at 13. 20 will unlock SMGs, so that's no good right now. Handguns is at 14. 20 is going to unlock the pistol. Shotgun should have unlocked shotgun at 20. And then that's basically it because rifles is not even anywhere close. I mean, 20 is going to be hunting rifle if I had to guess. And then like 50 or something like that for sniper rifle. I don't, I'm not really interested in going through all this stuff to find out. Uh, I do want to check one more. Let's see, where's our archery at? So what did 20 unlock as options here? Nothing. 25? What am I missing? 30 is crossbow. So we could do a Loki bow. I don't remember how we do that one. It required a variety of things. Uh, where's the Loki bow at? I mean, maybe we could see if that will work for the interim. Loki bow. So we need plant fibers, animal hides, glue and wood. So plant fibers, animal hides, glue, and we have wood. So we'll just go ahead and make a new Loki bow. This one, it's just, it's getting to the point where it doesn't do much damage and it really does need to go just kind of sit on the shelf. I mean, yeah, it does pretty good damage still. Technically, wait a minute, how much? 20, it's doing 23, 26.23. So it's technically doing more than this, but not enough to matter, I don't think. I'm I'm good with making that change. And then where are we at with the machete? I kind of want to switch to one of these guys at some point. Just kind of for giggles, but should probably stick with this for now. This guy, I wouldn't mind repairing it either. Wouldn't mind repairing that one. Wouldn't mind combining them. That's the thing we really need to do. Oh, that combine station is going to drive me bonkers. Was that mechanical skill? Is that what that one was under? Mechanical skills. No, because we would be able to do the combined station if it were. Wow, well, whatever. I feel like we've done okay-ish work today. We have those guys planted. We're good to go. Let's go grab the forged iron. We might need that for making various things. I'm still a little confused about the decision on the resource cost for bricks and all that jazz. I guess you collect so much clay at once that it doesn't matter. That's the only thing I can figure out. I mean, you tend to collect, like, 20 lumps of clay at one time, so who cares if you use 60? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still not sure I'm feeling that on the bricks, though. I think I'm going to have to go spend some time collecting a whole bunch of stones. So that might be the next thing I do, is make another pickaxe or something, and just go... Oh, like I said, go grab a bunch of stones. Although, I think Taza is still the better choice. So, I'll probably stick with Taza. Yeah, I want to go grab some stones. That way we can do a little more building on the next one with some flagstone. We're probably going to have to do a combination of flagstone as well as wood. I just, I see that being inevitable. But, just the same, we can at least say we're moving in the correct direction. And that, sometimes is good enough. So I'll catch you on another one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.